Next up, we are talking about suits and smarts and menswear fashion indeed. Of course, the South African Menswear Week actually wrapped up not so long ago. It got people talking. It was trending on social medias as well. But our very own Alexis went backstage to find out, uh, you know, what's the deal with some of the new and upcoming designers with some new shapes as well. We're here at South African Menswear Week. It's their second seasonal collections. Um, it's actually spring summer showing, even though it is freezing cold here in the Cape Town Stadium. I think South Africa went through a stage where men could buy t-shirts or they could buy suits. And then suddenly there was this rising new guard of amazing new talent offering something very different, very edgy and very conceptual. Designer Terence Bray approaches menswear with attention to tailoring and construction. His look for spring is sporty with floral flair. I'm backstage with Terence Bray all the way from Durban. Welcome to Cape Town. Thank you so much. It's great to be here. So tell us about the spring summer menswear collection that you show this evening. Well, for me, it's my first time showing in Cape Town uh, as an official full collection, and I'm really excited about it. And there's a lot of uh, synergy between Durban and Cape Town in, in some ways. We have this luxury of being near our coastline and our beautiful sort of organic florals and so a lot of the colors were inspired by that and the, the transition that flowers go through when they start to die how the colors become a little bit sludgier. For you what were those must-have pieces in your collection that you think a man can actually wear in his closet? I'm really enjoying the sort of slouchy pleated pants. Things are becoming a little bit more oversized so while we still concentrated on some fit we, we were playing with volume and proportion and just taking the silhouettes a bit looser. So it's very much about confidence, about learning to be comfortable in a bigger shape and that it doesn't actually make you look shapeless. I really, really think our Avaya inspired or like Kurta inspired shirts and like man dress shirts are amazing. They're perfect for our climate. So there were a lot of street style elements here, fantastic athletic looking jackets. Do you think that street style is really a very dominant theme in fashion now? It's functional and it's practical and I think you've got to present people with something that they can take away that is usable and works for our lifestyle. So I think that's why sportswear is resonating with the local market. Genevieve Lyons combines functional detailing, texture and print to form a layered spring collection that speaks to modern conceptual style. So I'm here backstage at South Africa Menswear Week with Genevieve Lyons. Genevieve, lovely, amazing collection. Thank Tell me so about this print. Is it a marble rendering? Yeah, well the collection is called Alabaster and it was based on like a marble print, specifically granite. And yeah, we printed it on the garments and we also took the color palette from the marble, which is the khaki and more like toasted colors. And we were tapping into the misty sprig of spring as we're doing like rain jackets and it's all waterproof uh, material as well. And this was a spring summer collection. So what pieces do you think the Genevieve Lions wearing guy really needs in his closet? Okay, well I would say layering. It's always about layering and more detail. And well, tapping to the minimal side but doing it conceptual minimalism is the layering effect. And I think anorak is definitely a rain jacket and a short. And as well, you can always tap a, put a megging under a short for summer as well, just a lighter fabric. And somebody told me the other day that you do a lot of your own garment construction. Is this like part of your passion as a designer? Like, do you put like that much of yourself into it? Well, for me, it's about the construction and you know, seeing it come to life. So I like to be in the zone and doing my own thing. And I know I can come with the concept will become what it must be into real life, like what I envisioned from sketch to the final product. Joburg-based fashion brand Augustine have earned recognition for their progressive menswear designs, which challenge the conventional clothing norms. One of my favorite local menswear brands is definitely Augustine, and I'm here with designer Justine. Justine, outstanding collection this evening. Tell me, how did you package this whole collection together? If you go on Instagram and you see all of these amazing packages and you want to buy into those products, I thought about bringing that through into people, packaging people, and you'll see the stickers on everyone. It says something safari edge to it also, which is very cool, and then our dark colors that we always have. So you guys have always been on the edge of, you know, pushing the boundaries, you know, giving the customer a little bit of something different. Do you think the perception of kind of slightly more edgy fashion is kind of changing? Yes, definitely. I've seen with the up and coming new designers also, everyone's pushing the limits now. There's absolutely amazing brands coming up. It's not like it used to be. People are definitely pushing the boundaries. And would you say that we're kind of on a par with global trends now? Are we aligned in the trend department? Does it even matter? I think our fashion industry has come a long way in the last two, three years, especially menswear. I honestly think we're on par with the rest of the world. We're definitely getting there. Redefining traditional designs for men. Fashion trends for spring reveal a fresh way of thinking.